Tillo, what's poppin'? We are on nothing. We out here vlogging. We doing a regular old video, man. I know it's rare. I got the camera out and everything. This is not on my phone. That's why I kind of look crispy a little bit, maybe. Y'all see the title, man. And a lot of y'all don't know I'm a three-star Michelin chef. Um, there's a lot of hats I wear. Father hat. Vlogger hat. UK documentary hat. Reaction hat. Music reaction hat. Worldwide reaction hat. Uh, but the biggest hat of it all is the chef hat. And when I show you that hat, I don't mean cap. This is real life. Uh, today, we're gonna be cooking a steak. Not gonna lie, my little brother and his girlfriend that motivated me to cook a steak. They was in here cooking steaks. Aromas was aroming, you know? So, I went and got me a steak. I got a USDA Choice Angus Beef Green Wise Ribeye Steak, bone in. My bad, bone in. More flavor that way. Got my butter. This is the seasoning I chose. I chose Weber Chicago Steak Seasoning because I missed the crib, that's all. No other more reason. I was gonna try to sous vide this steak, but I don't got time for that. I mean, it's not hard, you know what I'm saying, but I just don't feel like it. First and foremost, I like to start off with a semi-clean work area. The stove is black, so it, it looked like it's dirty, but it's just black, it's clean. Uh, I got my little pot. I don't know if it can fit that in there, but we gonna surely try it. And I got my utensils. I'm gonna need a spoon for basting, you know what I'm saying? A knife for knifing. Some of y'all in the UK are not allowed to have this, not even in your kitchen. Let me wash my hands because I'm cleanliness. I'm gonna grab my steak. I'm gonna be careful because this is, no wait, hold on, wait a minute. I forgot I got Samurai Jack in the cut. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sharpest knife I've ever used. Look at that. The mandem in the road would be blessed to have that one. Anyway, that's ignorant, ain't it? Anyway, that's my steak. Drive a plate, steak on plate. I'm gonna grab my little seasoning. Actually, I really wanna pat this steak dry. I don't got no napkins, but I was at the buffet. So I just grab this little napkin up out of the dig. Unfold that, okay. Unfold that. Gently now. Now, when you a chef, you use what you got. <laughs> Don't ever let nobody steer you in the wrong direction or tell you what you doing is wrong. Pat them on. I want to get as much moisture off the top so I can get a nice sear on there. Feel me? Then I want to grab my little seasoning. I want to grab my seasoning. Down there like that. Open that. You know it's going to have a little top on it. Now this is gluten free too, my seasoning salt. Not that it matters or anything. Put that on there. Now you want to put as much seasoning as your heart desires, but just know when you sear it, a lot is going to come off. So I'm rocking out like that. You feel me? I'm, I'm rocking out like that. Make sure that's in there. And I don't feel bad about that. That's a good little amount for me. Flip that over. Boom, same, same issue on this side. Good, massage that in. And I did let my steak sit. It's been sitting on room temperature for like 45 minutes. Don't tell me what to do. I'm three star Michelin, got it. Now ideally you wanna use a cast iron skillet, but I gotta use what I got, man. And to get a good sear on here, I don't have much fat to render off of here to sear it in. So I'm just going to use a high point cooking oil just for the sear, man. And what I'm going to do is lay this in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Definitely hot. 
just want to lay that in there for a good little minute, 60 seconds. And I want to do that on both sides to get a nice sear. Now it may look like it's about to burn the house down, but this is the sear you want. See what I'm talking about? There is a method to my madness. I did. <laughs> when you get that sear on it, you want to turn it down to medium low. Get you a stick of butter. About a quarter, quarter of the stick, you feel me? I'm gonna take that out. I'm gonna take that out. Let the butter melt, then put it back in when the butter is melted. Alright, it's lot it's smoky in here. Now I'm gonna grab my steak, I'm gonna put it in the butter, and I wanna baste this for like two minutes. And I wanna continuously do this. Dang, I might need the whole stick of butter. <laughs> so I want to continuously do that for the entire two minutes. I don't want to hear nobody's mouth. Yes, it's a little Cajun, but it get like that sometimes. If I had the proper utensils, it wouldn't be like this and so on and so forth. <laughs> My steak is not burnt. The seasoning is on now. But what do I do with that? Just brush it off. <laughs> no, I ain't go. I was going to switch pot. It's still a little bit. I need a more cook for me, man. I'm gonna let that cook down for a little bit. So me, I'm one of those people who like my, my steak like medium, medium rare. So I would be good with this. Yeah, 100%. I'm then you wanna let that bad boy rest about 10 minutes. 10 minutes. It's 6.29 p.m. so I'll be back at about 6.40. I ain't even gonna hold you. That mug look good though. The house, it's a little smoky. It's a little smoky. Hold on, the neighbors, the neighbor. She cussing somebody out in Spanish, hold on. having a good time I thought she was cussing somebody out but you know well you got Spanish neighbors you don't know if they cursing somebody out or having a good, great time I don't know but yeah look at the kitchen I don't know if y'all can see all that smoke by the light but fire detector didn't even go off that's crazy so what I'm gonna do call the front desk Honestly, man, you only want to let your steak rest for like five to eight minutes. Any other more time than that, it's going to start getting cold. And nobody likes a cold steak. And for me, you know, I'm all about presentation. So I got a nice, fresh hood black plate. This is, I think these was 50 cent. I was at the grocery store. So I grabbed me a little macaroni salad. No, as a side, because I'm just not out here eating meat. Pause, no ditty. The key traits of a five-star, four-star, three-star Michelin chef. Look, clean work environment after. It's 636. Told y'all, we clean. Back on the steak resting. Boom, we clean. I get my presentation right. Hold on. Yeah, because we're going to eat all that. We're going to eat all of that. 
We're gonna need all that. I'm gonna scrape that out. And for me personally, here's the steak. Get my nice little ching. And we wanna cut into the steak, make sure it's done, do it on camera so I don't get no haters. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice little rare medium type situation going on for me. It's perfect for me. I know some people like theirs cooked a little more, like theirs cooked a little less. But for me, that's perfect. I like them still bleeding, you feel me? All right, we got the point across. The one thing I wish I would've did different, put more seasoning on it. And I put a lot, but a lot fell off. And I should know better. For y'all hating on me in the comments, this is not rare, it's medium. Not medium rare, not just medium, medium. It's medium rare. Mm-hmm. I tell you, it's good to be a chef. I went through years of training to do stuff like this. Years. You can't just get into the kitchen and just think you finna, you know what I'm saying? Cook you a steak or something. All the juice held in. Mm-hmm. Tender. It's like butter. It's really good. I know some of y'all are commenting, hating on me, just to hate on me, because that's who y'all are. But I'm having the time of my life. <laughs> I'm having the time of my life. Oh my God. You don't even need no A1 sauce or nothing. I want to tell y'all, I'm trying to start doing Reddit reactions. I have a Reddit. It's T-H-E-E-L-I-T -E -E underscore O-N-E. Follow me on Reddit, send little funny stuff for me to react to, and it'll be on YouTube. And your name will be there too. Nice little shout out. Also, Twitch is huge port, it's important. We be having a lot of people on the Twitch streams now. You know what I'm saying? Not, I mean, not a lot like other people, but you know, I don't compare myself to other people because comparison is the thief of joy. I'm just in my own lane, I'm doing what I'm doing. And I appreciate everybody for taking the time and tuning in when they don't have to. Y'all think I'm playing about the steak. Oh, oh good. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that. Come on, y'all. Please don't hate on me when it comes to, like, just let me live. You know what I'm saying? I be letting y'all live. Look, I got, I'm just doing me. No Bev is crazy. What, can I get a beverage? Waiter. I'm the waiter. The link to everything is down below, man. I'm trying to get me and Gordon in the same cloth. Now I'm gone.